Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we're back with XCOM Enemy Within. And uh, to be perfectly honest, it has been quite some time since I've actually got to play. Um, I had a number of uh, videos backlogged, so hopefully I, I won't have a delay in getting these videos out if you have been watching these on a regular basis. Uh, so hopefully there won't be an interruption there. But uh, there were a number of things that came to my attention in my hiatus, or that I've just kind of been mulling over, because I have been thinking about the game a lot, especially right now, you know, because we're on kind of the, the precipice of a, of a really exciting time. You know, we're, I think we're pretty close to dealing with Exalt, and, um, and, uh, you know, we're all about to assault the alien base. In fact, that was kind of the mission that we were uh, preparing for, and that was kind of what we we're going to plan on doing, um, plan on doing today. Uh, but two things. One, two, uh, two of my volunteers here, uh, that is Braddock here, and um, let's see, where is, where is Vissington? Or did, did he die? <laughs> did he die? There, I'm sorry, there have been so many deaths. Oh shoot. Um Carol, Barnes, Osbang, Leroy, Rampage, Launchpad, Martin, Braddock, Peters, Webb, Gray, Alonzo, Taylor, White. Oh shoot. Um well, I feel really horrible now. So uh, Vissington must have died again. And uh Vissington the second, so <laughs> this is just a absolutely pathetic um, setup that I've got going on here. So Vissington the first died, Vissington the second died, and Viss yeah, the Vissington the third died. Okay, so I need a Vissington the fourth. So I actually need a Vissington the fourth. Um, and let's go ahead and we can go ahead and give him one of the um, one of these guys up here that has not been assigned, I think as opposed to giving him a squatty. Because we've got a number of people who have, um, you know, who don't have, um, who don't, you know, who weren't, uh, well, I mean, most of these people are not uh, volunteers. If you've been watching the series, um, then you know that I had put a shout out early on for people who uh, wanted to participate by being um, per, uh, by by being soldiers, and uh, Osbang B here, uh, Rampage here, Braddock and um, and Vissington, of course, uh, were the four people who actually were willing to do that, and um, Braddock and Vissington actually requested. Uh, requested their own nicknames. So I'm going to actually go ahead and give Braddock the one that he requested. That is Haas. And um, I suppose we can go ahead and give um We can go ahead and give uh, Vissington. Vissington had a really poor go of it last time. He got a really bad person, so I'm wondering if I want to give him one of my one of my good people here. Um, but if you get if I give him the Colonel here, then he he doesn't really have anywhere to go. Um, so I'm wondering if I should just give him a Squatty, and then we can kind of see, you know, what he can do. Um, you know, maybe I should do that. Uh, you know, I hate to I hate to do it. So let's look at one of these. Let's look at a couple of these squaddies and see kind of where where they are. And uh, we'll give you one that has good potential. How about that? Uh, this is a sniper that has pretty good potential, I think. Um, squatty rice here. Hey, uh, oh, actually, sorry, Corporal. I did not promote Corporal. Uh, promote her in terms of the name. 
than renaming the first name here. Um, Corporal Webb has a, a very good potential. Uh, or Corporal Rice, excuse me. 71 and 74 is very good for a um, for support at uh, that level. Um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking <laughs> Visington has also been a, a female, I think, in every incarnation. I don't know if... And that has not really been uh, the best of luck, you know, for, for you either. Corporal Peters here. Another support. Um, you know, this guy's, this guy's doing pretty good for us, I think. Um, and he's a field medic, so he's got a couple of levels under his belt. So you know what? I think I'll go, I think I'll go with this guy here. So, um, Vissington, the fourth, and, um, he wanted to go as... Can I do underscore Duke? So, uh, I just felt kind of obliged to do that uh, for the people for the people who did want to participate. And uh, now another thing that I have been overlooking, and once again, this is mostly because one, I've had a lot of deaths, but now I'm actually starting to get some people who've got levels under their belts. Um, but also because this was not an element in the game before, so I just kind of forgot about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm kind of wanting to... Um, you know, I'm kind of wanting to do this. Now, I, I, I don't know if when you assign this power, if it assigns that for each subsequent medal, or if you can... Because I would like to give this one to a sniper. You know, because they're kind of usually off by their own. Um, not necessarily because of the aim, but just to get that critical chance up. That'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, see, I've already given the I've already given the power. So I think when you assign the power, then all of your badges of that type are permanently assigned. Never panic as a result of uh, allies getting killed or wounded. Medikits and restorative mist heal two more HP when used on this soldier. That's pretty nice. International service cross. Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. Plus two aim bonus per continent bonus. XCOM has earned. Now that's pretty nice. Uh, we've got, I think, three... So, you know, that would give a plus, I guess, what, plus six aim? Which is nothing to scoff at. I mean, um, nothing to scoff at. I would, I would tend to go towards the aim. I think, I think the, the slight amount of will that you're going to get from this is going to be more intangible than the, than the benefits you're going to get from AIM. So I think I'm going to go for AIM. And, uh, uh, but maybe I'm, I might actually wait on assigning that one. Um, oh, man. But this one is pretty nice here. Of course, it would be good to kind of assign it now. One aim and one will. Um, that might be a good one to give to my colonel. Um, because he's got kind of low aim. So that would, um, that would potentially uh, buff him up. So I'm going to go ahead and award that to Colonel Carroll. Because I think he's earned it. He's a colonel. I love his hairdo. And, uh, you know, that would, that would be great to get his aim up a little bit higher, too. 
Uh, I'm not sure anyone else needs that right now. And let's see, plus five defense when in cover. Um, let's see. I might give that one to um, Leroy here. Keep my keep my assaults keep my assaults a little bit more alive, and maybe also give that to um, Braddock. I think give those guys just a little bit more of an edge. Okay. Hopefully I'll remember to kind of speed this section up. If, if not, then I apologize, but I, I usually have a lot of uh, videos to edit, um, kind of in a backlog, because I usually, I usually try to play as much as I can uh, because I'm a gamer, but also because uh, my, my schedule is such that I don't get to don't get to play as much as I'd like during the week. So I think I'm going to go ahead and assault here, and I believe that we had already got our our squad kind of picked. Um, oh wait, so we weren't... Oh, we weren't bringing... Um, we weren't bringing Braddock, we were bringing Launchpad. Maybe I should give Launchpad that uh, other that other urban combat badge, <laughs> just because. Okay. I mean, hey, that five defense—it's gonna make me feel a little bit better in this uh, in this situation here. Okay, because this is gonna get hairy, I'm sure. So, we've got uh, two grenades on Rampage that he can fire. Launchpad has one grenade here that he can throw, and uh, Carol has two rockets. So, while it, you know, it doesn't look like a lot of people are carrying explosives, we do have uh, five, five explosives at our disposal. And, um, you know, all in all, we do have quite a, quite a bit of... Um, Quite a bit of accuracy, all told. You know, Vissington uh, is kind of the weak link in that regard, um, unfortunately. But I just, I really didn't feel comfortable. You know, as he's at only at six plus six, I would have to drop him down. He'd be at ten health, I guess, if I gave him a scope. I want him at 86 and 10 health. Maybe I do. Okay. I might regret that. I'm going to try to do my best to keep Vissington in the rear. Because he's my big time medic. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do, do my best uh, with what I got here. Because I do want everyone to be top notch shooter. Ozbang, of course. Um. I'm bringing him mostly because he's got the battle scanner, and uh, my other sniper does not have that battle scanner. Uh, but you know, everyone I think is, uh, I think everyone's gonna be pretty solid here. I think everyone's gonna be pretty solid. So here we go, alien base assault. I am uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, trepidatious to say the least. Uh, but I'm also really excited, you know, to to get, has arrived. to get to the next chapter in this game. But uh, I'm really hoping Thanks that to Dr. Uh, Valen's research and some I'm ready for it. Done in engineering. This skeleton key should allow you to breach the alien compound. We've only got one chance to make this work, though. So let's make sure we do it right. Identify and capture base commander if possible. Okay. While that is a mission objective, I'm going to put that kind of in the in the background. Um, that is not my primary objective. 
my primary objective is getting through this with all my guys alive. I know that's probably not what I'm supposed to say here, but uh, every single one of these guys is valuable God to me. Only knows what they're doing to these people. All the more reason to blow them to hell. Get moving. I agree, Central. So far, we don't have visual confirmation on the hostiles. I wouldn't get too comfortable, though. We're expecting heavy resistance. They're probably Man. moving into position as we speak. Yeah, they probably are. Oh, this place. Oh, my gosh. This is bringing back some memories here. So, I'm not gonna... I don't want to split my forces up here too much. Um... It looks like I need to decide here whether or not I want to go this way or this way. I guess. Okay, Vissington, once again, I don't want to move you too far. Now, I do have two guys that I can run and gun if I need to and uh, that is always important this is the first mission with uh, Rampage that I've got uh, this new rail gun so I am kind of excited about that um, affirmative. let's go ahead and move you know nice and cautiously up here as is my custom and uh, because I don't see uh, there's no there's no timer you know there's no meld for me to collect there's no uh, there's no reason for me to take any kind of um, of risks that um, that jeopardize my guys here there's just no reason. I see no reasons Position confirmed. to do any of that, so... It's a lot of... A lot of just creeping along here, especially until we get up on this platform. I don't want to... I definitely didn't want to dash anyone up here, because, uh... You know, they might have uh, tripped someone. Got it. And, uh... Well, it looks like we found where they've been taking the abductees. But that still doesn't explain what the purpose of all this is. They could have potentially tripped someone, and uh, that would not have uh, that would not have been cool in my book. Okay, so Ozbang, I'm gonna actually plop him kind of back here, which I think will be out of the line of fire. Uh, but, you know, if anything comes up here, then he'll be able to uh, shoot it next turn. For sure. Moving. And uh, we're not going into cover here, but I think that if everyone is... Uh, I've got enough... I think I've got enough good shooters on this crew. Heading to that location. You know, such that everyone in um, Overwatch should, on theoretically... It be able to um, be able to protect me pretty well you know should something crazy happen and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move rampage out just a little bit in the front here probably not a really wise last move though to be perfectly honest um, I am sure that. Whoa. Misclick Rolling. there on the. Man, I hate it when I do that. I've only done it once or twice, fortunately, when it's really mattered. Um, but when you do that and it's That's and it's in combat, oh my gosh, my heart just sinks. Um, you know, when you move your guy just like one step and it's 
especially when he breaks cover and you're like yeah there's nothing I can do about that I probably just killed that guy like not only did I just move him out into what is probably his death you know you potentially just wasted an attack you know any number of any number of okay. catastrophic things you could have just caused. Heading out. So. Oh my God. So it's unlikely, I think, that that something's gonna open that door on us. But um, still, I think uh, we we can go ahead and, and stack up here now. On my way. Pretty, um, that'd be pretty safe to do so. I don't want to click. I mentioned it in a couple of my other videos, but uh, definitely been burned before by trying to change to another person Moving by clicking position. when um, I'm up at the door and uh, opened it before I want to. And uh, that has had some. Uh, Affirmative. I'm going to move Ozbang here. Not sure if he'll be able to get a shot on anything through there, but uh, I think that's probably his best bet. And uh, not entirely certain that this is going to be the best spot for these guys, but uh, they might be able to see whatever's through there. It's going to be a, a semi-aggressive... Um, semi-aggressive door opening here but uh, I typically am fairly fairly aggressive in my door openings I like to get my firepower pretty stacked up so I uh, so I can you know shoot at it with as much stuff as I possibly can especially when we've got something like that to deal with okay oh man so my my um Wow. This is not good. That's horrible. So, none of my... Um... Okay. 69% chance. Now, the problem here is... Uh, Vissington and uh, Launchpad. Now, Launchpad, I believe, has lightning reflexes. So, what I'm probably going to want to do is move him or move Leroy here. You know, disarm that um, and also so I can see him. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that did not in any way disarm that, but we got a, a double 88% um, chance here. Which I think is what I want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, nice. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so Leroy in one attack just wiped those guys out like they were nothing. Like they were nothing. And I really wish I was thinking here what I would... Okay, so what I'm going to try to do, and this might be kind of stupid, but I really want to capture one of these guys. Oh, wait, you only have two stun opportunities? Uh, I think... Actually, never mind. I think I've already captured a sectoid, so I don't know if I should waste a capture on one or not. Um, I'm also a little worried about moving in and potentially setting something else off. But I suppose if I need to, I can pull back out with Rampage. Um, what does Launchpad have? An 81? Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on a second. A 61 on the back. And Ozbang's got nothing. So, 
so I can move in and I can move back out if That's I have to. One hundred and fifty-one. I'm gonna go ahead and take my one hundred here. Nice. Kill okay. Confirmed. I'm pretty sure at this point that well man, I've been pretty sure before, haven't I? I have been pretty sure before. And that, uh, that hasn't always worked out for me. Okay, I'm going to move Vissington in here so I can move him back if I need to. Because I'm a little worried about potentially having guys over here. 75%? I like those odds. Okay. So I was originally thinking that I might try to suppress him and then uh, move in for the capture. But, uh, you know, yes, since I, it looks like I only have two capture opportunities, I might, uh, might want to stow that for right now. And let's go ahead and bring... Oh. Probably should have uh, saved that spot for Ozbang. Moving on target location. Probably also need to more thoroughly consider my that, my moves here. But Roger. I'm Got really that. happy with uh, really happy with the uh, kill there. That uh, extremely happy with that kill with, uh, that Leroy had in one turn. That was just uh, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. On that uh, mech. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move I'm move rolling. up and reload with uh, Leroy here. Back online. And rampage. I know we've got that little extra ammo thing here, but I don't want to move up too much here. Moving out. Like I don't really want to move up at all I'm ready. on it uh, because there might be some guys over here, and uh, I've got uh, I got Leroy kind of standing right out in the middle with his nice uh, or with her pants down, so to speak. So it's just not got it covered. not something that I'm interested in. Um, I would say that the risk is is quite low, Good to go. quite low, but still, it's not a risk that I am uh, willing willing to take. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stack up here because I do want to move Ozbang. Well, I want to move Ozbang up to here next turn, so Good to I'm go. gonna go ahead and move him up a bit. Come here. Scanning. Whoa. Hey. So you hear anything? We have definitely um definitely passed by some over here. That uh, I could have, I would have sworn that we would have been able to to see them when we were over here. I'm very surprised that we didn't. I'm also very surprised that we didn't, you know, see them from here to here. If they, if they're not there or there, would have would have thought we would have seen them. I'm a little hesitant to move up here, uh, so I might kind of slowly work my way around. Slowly work my way around this area here. Affirmative, Commander. And there's I'm all over it. not a lot of cover in between here and there, but once again, I'm rolling. 
with uh, with the level of shooter that I have in this group, I I'm just I'm pretty confident, and I, I hope not overly so. That um that the level of uh, damage that these guys would output on anything that did did pop out would be sufficient enough. Um, on it. Let's go ahead and just put Osbeck right here. And, uh... I'm all over it. Hope that we're good in that regard. Heading to that location. So... We're gonna loop around kind of on these guys. That's affirmative. But uh, I am looking at the time for this video, and I think that's a good place to cut it. So, um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up right here next time.